needs a lot of preparation. But all of the work which we are doing is... We have actually upgraded... Those of you who happen to be in a cluster where you have... 14 days before the open and uh, making include uh, gyms, uh, clubs, uh, studios... Be, uh, when the ball behind the defense is played around the defenders. The attempt to get the ball will be analyzed as well. Matches will be produced with high dynamic range. <laughs> Talk to the press. Straight from Muda grass. It's not going to have the, the winter grass in it, so they'll sort of. Um, but yeah, they'll just slightly be inside the different ones. Talk to them. Uh, right, yeah, because it's, it's uh, causeway. Yeah, it's in uh, just in these yeah. cylinders so down here. Is the pump room uh -huh. those for both for both pitches? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So we've got a bit of catch up at the moment yeah. because it's 50 degrees. It's hard to stay on top of it and it's windy. Yeah, because and the the, the structure is uh, built, right? It's uh, it's not the kind of trolley that no, will no, go up. No, it's folded in power. Starting. We can have a Welcome to Doha, welcome to Qatar, the country that will stage the most compact FIFA World Cup as the greatest show on earth comes for the first time to the Arab world. The show where you and your national teams will be the protagonists. Over one and a half million football fans will be here in Qatar in November and December to celebrate and live the passion and the drama in eight state-of-the-art stadiums that all bring a different part of the rich culture of this country and the characteristics of this region to football and your teams will be witnessed by a record-breaking global audience from the moment that the first ball is kicked on the 21st of November of this year. Well, I think by now all of you have selected your team base camps, your team base camp hotels. I hope that you will be able to enjoy these facilities. They, the training facilities are world-class. We hope that you are all satisfied with the facilities that, that you have. Rest assured that we, as a World Cup uh, delivery team, are here at your service. This morning was um, updates really on the refereeing and um, 
how the referees will referee the, the competition, so that was very helpful. You, you have clarity, you don't always agree, but you have some clarity. Um, and then Arsene had a technical panel, so information really on um, data analysis um, and the, uh, the opportunities we'll have to access uh, the footage. So, um, yeah, it, it always very interesting, very helpful f for, for us to be here. We're going to look at some of the stadiums and uh, also visit our training camp. So for us, it's a really good couple of days. Yeah, well, we, we're looking forward to it, firstly. It's, um, of course, it's what you build for as an international team to be in a World Cup is the, is the greatest tournament. Um, so we had, a, like a lot of teams, a challenging month in June, but we needed to look at a lot of different players. And um, I think for our players, especially, Having got to the final of the Euros the year before, they had a very long season, so we have to learn from that. Um, and we've got now two matches with, with Germany and Italy to, to prepare before we, we come here. Well, ab absolutely, I think obviously uh, it's been three years now that we've been coming and from seeing the base camps to seeing the stadiums to seeing all the hard work that is behind the preparation for the World Cup and now you can feel it, this is the, the latest stages and we all really excited now we got the 32 teams something that we found out just a few weeks ago and you can start feeling the excitement uh, around it and, and the preparations are, are going extremely well this is a generation that knows how to deal with with expectations with pressure but in the same way we understand we're not going to come here and and just because you you've been ranked so highly in the last few years you're going to get an easy ride it's the opposite we need to improve what we've done in the last few games we need to try to give um, a clear way to enjoy that opportunity of being in a World Cup and try to improve what we did in, in Russia. For me it's, it's a first opportunity to come over and check the hotel, check the training facilities. Um, we've had a couple of workshops today that have been interesting from a, uh, a refereeing point of view. That was an interesting one this morning. Slight tweaks to the, to the offside and the automatic offside which has been interesting to listen to so it's been a, a real beneficial trip so far. Extremely proud. Just just to have been a part of the campaign is is you know is is great enough. But uh, to qualify and, and be a part of that group, and I'm pleased for the senior players there, the Gareth Bales of the world, and Aaron's and the Joe Allen's. Those senior players deserve that opportunity. That was the one thing missing from their CV, and um, yeah, just proud to be a part of that.